Welcome back again. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at some of the basic sort of editing you can do for your sections just to get a bit better spacing between your sections. OK. So our example here is we've got our hero banner and then we've got our next section underneath that with a bit of text. And as you can see, this next section butts up pretty hard on the hero banner. And we don't have a lot of white space between that top heading there, which doesn't look the best. So we're going to have a look and see what we can do about that. OK, so to edit a section, you'll notice you get the little blue tab at the top of the section when you mouse over a particular section. So we're going to click on the little six dots in the middle to edit the section. So we click on that. And that gives us our editing options over in this side window here. Now, some of these might require extra bits and pieces, so we're not going to worry about playing with them. We're only interested in our freebies at the moment. And as you can see on the layout options here, we've got a few different things we can play around with. Now, for the most part, we're going to leave them alone at this stage because we don't really want to be setting minimum heights or anything like that on our on this particular section. We want it to work that out for itself. And then, of course, we can click on Style here, and it's got some other options we can play around with. Mostly cosmetic. So we're going to go over to the Advanced tab. And here you'll see we can actually play around with margins and paddings. OK. And various other options as well. But we're just going to click into the Advanced here. And what we're going to do is we're going to Add a bit of margin at the top of this section. So I just click on up on there. As you can see, we're moving that section or putting a margin between this section and that section. Okay, and already that looks a lot better sitting out there like so. However, you've probably noticed that it's also added that margin to the bottom section down here as well. Now, we might necessarily want that. So what we've got to do is we've got to unlink. And we can set the bottom back to 0. OK, that just means if we add another section, we'll just add a blank one there for now, it'll butt right up against. the current section. You may or may not want that to happen. Going back into here is where you can change all those sort of features. OK. We can also add in other things like motion effects. So we can make an entrance animation. So we can have it fade in as the page loads. Um, you probably don't want to do that with text-based content. But an example would be, say, this hero banner. If we clicked on there, jumped into the advanced, and we added a fade in on that. So when the page loads up, it fades in with the image. That would be a nice little thing to catch the eye of the user. But they're the basics of just getting your layout and your spacing right for your different sections.